Awesome. Hello. Hello. Mark, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So how did you find us? Uh, so I actually have been trying to look into like helping, not to have a long-winded answer, but I was hoping to see if I can somehow join or help contribute to like people of color and people of different nationalities to contribute more, have more of a presence. And, and I saw that this had started recently and figured I'd join it and see how it, how I can help out. So yeah. Yeah. So where did you find it? Because it's brand new. Now I'm curious. Uh, so I think I was in the CNCF Slack channel and I was just looking around, if that makes sense, just like searching for like, you know, yeah. contributing and um, just like diversity. And so I think that kind of just like filtered for certain channels that I was like, oh, let me look at the, you know, the BI, BI, BI plus POC. And I saw, I was like, this might be the channel that I'm looking for in the CSCF Slack channel. And so that's when I joined. So it was kind of like a rabbit hole type of situation. That's that's awesome. Cause we haven't really started promoting it yet. Uh, okay. But I, I think one of the things I wanted to discuss with William, we desperately need, oh, you have, okay, that's good. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but like officially like with the CNCF help and so on, we haven't, so. Nice. Yeah. Anyways, William, you're here, so you can. Hey. Uh, yeah. Well, welcome, Mark. Uh, it's great that you are around. Um, I saw him really briefly because I joined the other meeting by mistake. So <laughs> I sent out two meetings, right? So, um, so what? Uh, I was hoping that uh, Rosalind would be here. But um, Mark, I don't know if you have access. We're working, so we're working on a chart, right? We're working to the, to the, uh, on the BIPOC. Well, I say I BIPOC. That. I don't know how you guys say. I say BIPOC. That's I don't know. Bit too. Okay. <laughs> Mark, uh, just uh, for context, so Travis is here as well. He's part of the Deaf and Hard of Hearing working group. So he relies heavily on... Uh, he relies on captions. So one thing that we're trying to do is kind of uh, speak clearly and not talk over each other so he can really follow the conversation. Understood. Important context. Nice to meet you, Travis, by the way. And absolutely, absolutely true. I was going on a mumble, rumble. So sorry, Travis. I, I should be more mindful that what I say should count. <laughs> um, so, so what we are working on is the charter. The first item that we need to work on is the charter for the working group, or at least the working group to be. Um, we already have put some stuff together. Some uh, there, there is there is a draft charter, and then that I will be sharing in a minute. Uh, let me put it in the chat. Meanwhile, you already did. Fantastic, Catherine. Um, mm. So the there are things that I don't really grasp, uh, Catherine. Um, so you are suggesting that the the charter aligns very much with the abide, which I agree. Yeah, so I was thinking, because the goals are very over, I mean, they are basically, um, they apply to any underrepresented group. So I was thinking instead of, because we're trying to work on it with the blind and visually impaired group as well. And I was like, you know, we're trying to say exactly the same thing. Uh, and I was wondering, why not just refer to abide and say that, each of the underlying um, <clears throat> um, groups will try to implement that for specific needs and uh, uh, for that specific group. So I, I thought that might help, you know, simplify things because I see a lot of people struggling with, you know, like how do we formulate it? And at the end of the day is 
we want more representation. We want more visibility. We want employers uh, to be more inclusive. You know, it's it doesn't matter. We want all the same things, whether you're deaf, blind, uh, a person of color, or LGBTQ, right? It's all, I assume it's always the same. If there is something that is very specific for a group that is identified throughout the process, we can add that, we can add that. Because I assume it all applies, uh, no one is gonna say to that, but maybe there's something specific to a group and then we can say like, and we're trying to do this. I don't know, thought yes. might be simpler. Yes. I understand, I understand. I, I, needed, I needed to understand this indeed. Uh, I think we could do that. We are uh, what what I what I don't like personally when I read a document is and it's gonna sound weird uh, references to another one to for the case building. So I explain myself. Like I would like to read it and be self standing. Nevertheless, there should be notes that say that that refer that these are the still the goals of the overarching abide. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It does, because a lot of people do not click. So we could kind right. of we like we could say like. Uh, that the same uh, vision and so on um, applies uh, and then copy it there and say that, mention that those are the abide. Yes. Vision and mission. Yes, I like that. Yes, yes, something like that. And by the so, way, we will have to change the name abide. We had a conversation with the Linux Foundation okay. and there is a whole, or new initiatives there is a trademark thing. And it was like, really a trademark? Do we have, they, they, are, they are trademarking bigger initiatives. So by the way, Mark, so basically what we're doing, so uh, so the first group that existed is the, the, that started is the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Working Group. And we're trying to do a larger group um, that the goal of which is to promote inclusivity, accessibility, and equity, but having like like several groups underneath it, but all coordinate, right? Because we all want the same goals, but yeah. still have each group focus on their own uh, uh, needs and and because like that that's always different, right? So we don't want to dilute it by creating a whole group that is all where everyone wants to, you know, yeah. try to get their needs met. Like you know, like we have like smaller groups, but overall we all are part of this bigger group. So we are in the moment talking to the Linux Foundation. Okay. We're going to create a a, a initiative that is broader, and then mm -hmm. eventually these are all going to go underneath that. And so that's why we're saying abide is like the bigger one. And uh, I can share oh. I can share the proposal um, for that, and then this is how it kind of fits in. Um, yeah. Is okay. a byte, is a byte just like the name or is it abbreviated for something or? Yeah, it's, it... uh, exactly. So it is, let me see again, cause it's like accessibility, belonging through incl inclusion, diversity, and equity. So we're trying to get rid of the DEIA word cause it's gotcha. so tainted. Right. Right. Gotcha. And I mean, the idea is still good, but people have misused it, right? And yes. marketing BS and <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and there is a, there's a people are, yeah, yeah, disillusioned with that those initiatives. So, I think the idea is still good and relevant, but maybe the name has been. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. No, it's I uh, when I was at KubeCon last year, I got to meet some of the um, deaf and hard of hearing um, folks from that work, and that I was, I was just it was really awesome meeting them, um, and so I think that that also kind of drove me to like start thinking about being a part of a group or somehow contributing to. So uh, I call it fate. <laughs>
That's great. <laughs> so, um, thanks, Catherine, for uh, for uh, for this introduction. What I so what I am thinking of, I'm looking at the document, right, uh, at the charter, and I. So we cannot name abide. Is from from what I understand. We are. We need to look for another name. So we have to come up with a different name because, like, abide is a word. Also, the, uh, ah, yes. okay. Oh, I understand what you mean. Yeah, abide is a word, and and that, it's a trademark. It they they will trademark it. I was very surprised. It's like, why do you need to trademark it? It's just like a initiative and because it's like a Linux foundation thing, apparently it is important. So right now a byte doesn't have a name, but we can still call it a byte. So I think like for our purposes, let's call it a byte until we have right. a different name because otherwise, uh, but um, okay. let's just, okay. even in the doc, let's, let's call it a byte for now until we have a different name, but. Okay. So what I, what I will do, I will write another, uh, so I will re-edit the charter um, and I will align it more with the abide um, wording, at least. And I will make the references. But still, those goals that are in there, I find them uh, compelling. Mm -hmm. Well, the goals are always, I think, different. Same. Well, the goal... The, well, the, well, the, same, the, goal, they, they well, the goals are the same. The strategies are different, right? Because there are different challenges depending on which group. So yeah. I think the goal about like, uh, I mean, like, yeah. So uh, the goals, yeah, the goals are, the strategies are the ones that will differ. Yeah. But yeah, the mission and the vision, right? Like the overarching thing that is very, that's for all minority, like minorities and underrepresented groups I feel like pretty much the same yeah yes absolutely absolutely but again Are... like this is just for me like a proposal to simplify things because i've seen a lot of struggles going with that so if you feel you would prefer to word it differently or add to it so feel free so this is just me suggesting right to simplify things so we can have a charter and then start like doing social media posts that the cncf can yeah. um can uh yeah. share because i need we need to get more people involved right yes i think travis you wanted to say something on mark i, I didn't <laughs> i i don't know i mean um i honestly um i know i had not been contributing um to the charter lately um i've been busy you know with the other group yeah, uh, but I, um, I, I am going to contribute to um to the charter, the uh, in December at BlueCon, but we do need more people in the group, um, because you know, even um uh, case in point, um uh, the calendar, um, uh, there's not many of us like, um, um. OSPP, the implications. So I, I was worried if somebody's going to come to the meeting or. So, yeah. Um, I, um, it's, it's a lot. Um, Travis, you, yeah. Don't, don't, I, I told you already. So don't feel pressure to, to uh, contribute because you're doing both. Because Travis was like, oh, I don't know. I want to participate, but I don't have time. And it's like just, just being here and contributed during the meeting is enough. Let's find people who don't have a different working group. And I know you were also working on your Kubernetes certifications. Uh, so that's a lot of work. So don't feel pressured. Just, oh, yeah. you know, like, that, just, because so... I know there's a lot of, just, yeah. just participating in the meetings is a lot, all right? It's, I mean, it's appreciated. We love that you're here. Mm -hmm. And I also think it's a great opportunity for you to meet other people who are in the Kubernetes world, because I don't know about uh, Mark, but I know William is uh, very uh, knowledgeable 
So, uh, and we probably have, uh, we might have people here who are more familiar with Kubernetes in our deaf and hard of hearing working group. So this is also an opportunity to maybe find people you can ask questions, which because one of the core uh, goals of this group is to find supporter, supporting people who can, you know, help you career wise and tech and the technology side. So that's why I wanted you to be here in the oh, meetings yeah. and meet everyone. So don't feel pressure because I know yeah. you have a lot on your plate. <laughs> Absolutely, Travis. Don't, uh, I, I, I personally don't expect anyone to do more than what they feel, can, want, or whatever, any other shape of uh, situation. It's, uh, I have I have time and I have to, and I have the the will to dedicate and the wish to dedicate I do uh, I don't it's also it's also okay so absolutely no and whatever whatever technical questions you have shoot I'll, uh, I'm always I'm always up for the challenge it should always be fun it should never be stressful if it's stressful <laughs> then stop <laughs> yeah. yeah that's yeah, what yeah. work is for <laughs> work is already stressful enough so this should not be uh, stressful yeah, I mean, I'm just here for like a the learning experience, you know. Um, um, so, you know, I back to the calendar point. So I was nervous that it's gonna be like be destiny, and then you know, it's, everybody well, wait this, you know, we're supposed to be a minority when it comes to like my part, you know. So I, but yes, um, I I'm hoping for more people to come in and share their experience. You know, I really want to see uh LC High Tower at the conference, but I don't know if he's coming, so I, it's, you know, uh, he's coming. Sweet. hundred uh, yeah. percent. I I met him uh, several times. Uh so he's hundred percent is going to be there. Right. Yeah, he's awesome. Great. Um okay. Okay. So, uh, so actions. So I will, I will work. I, I will re rework on the charter. I will clean up some uh, some stuff that we have uh, agreed upon, and 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 realign a little bit with the abide uh, uh, and make references. I see. So. I see some things already that can be cleaned up, like what Rosalind uh, uh, cancelled out. In my opinion, it's okay. I'm okay with it. The vision, the like details, like the empower part. I'm with you, uh, Catherine. But I think it's more a matter of rewarding it. Because that's the, the target, the vision or not. We want to create a platform for individuals to lead and thrive. That's at yeah. least what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit open. I don't know, uh, can you all see the charter? Mark, can you see the charter? Yeah, so I'm reading the vision part now. Okay. So empowered BIPOC individuals to thrive and lead in the cloud native and open source ecosystem fostering diverse and inclusive community for future generations. So, Catherine, do you want to express your feelings about the Empower? I know it's a bit vague, you already said it. Um. Hi, Destiny. <laughs> Well, again, this is like, I leave this up to you. Hello. <laughs> uh, I'll leave that up to you. Like I'm, again, I'm here to facilitate. This is your charter. Oh, it's not mine. <laughs> your group as a group. <laughs> it's ours, yes, yes, yes. yes. But. Um, so, okay, let's, okay, let's, let's do, let's do like this. Let's 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 do like this. Let's all for a moment forget about everything in that document. 
they all they the the and, and let's focus only on one thing, only only on the on the vision, only on that statement. Short, sweet, and strong. Uh, we we can we don't need to do it now. Uh, we have six minutes left, but if we could if we could all focus just for, on that statement on the vision. The vision is what drives the everything, right? The mission, the goals, how the strategy. If we could dedicate a little bit of uh, brain power to that vision, and and we move it forward. I think that's I think that's the important thing. If we are not aligned on what the vision should be, we can't develop the we can't develop a mission. Maybe I was. So it is partially my fault, of course, because I have drafted the whole document and then I asked to edit. I should have just drafted a vision and then we should have worked on that vision together. So one thing that uh, if we look at the abide one, some one thing that I was trying to do mm -hmm. and I think that might be important is not focusing no, Focusing on how it will help open source too, right? Because it's like at the end of the day, yes, we want inclusion. We think it's right, whatever. But some people, they just want progress, right? So it's like just making sure it's like, okay, it's not just a feel good thing and the right thing to do. Like it's like it's good for open source, right? Like if we have more diverse views. And so I think like if we, everything we do, we kind of, try to make a link to how it will benefit everyone, not just, not that it's just the right thing to do, right? So I think that we will make it more appealing to people who may not care as much about diversity, which unfortunately there are a lot of people who say like, well, I'm fine, <laughs> you know? So, uh, but it's no, everyone should care because it is actually going to make the code better, everything better, and we're all gonna win. So. Yeah, right. I, I agree. I, I think uh, emphasizing the value, not only for BIPOC, but like the entire open source or community can be the vision part, like in a statement. Um, and I think that would help like trying to write that first sentence that defines what the vision is. Um, okay. Okay, so the two things are the two points, the point that you, Catherine, are raising and, uh, and the point in the vision of the charter are not converging, right? So if I look at the vision in the abide is unlock the full potential of software innovation by fostering a thriving and open source ecosystem that is inclusive and, access and accessible for all. So that that is indeed, we want that open source ecosystem to be accessible for everybody. So that's good. Then if we go to the charter is empower BIPOC individuals to thrive and lead the cloud native and open source ecosystem fostering a diverse and inclusive community for future generations. So here, so while one was um, focused on the thriving of the open source ecosystem that is accessible to all and by all, um, here we are focusing on thriving of the minorities in the uh, uh, in the open source ecosystem so that so i'm not saying uh, i'm not saying that one is wrong and one is right i'm not saying that I'm not i'm not saying i'm just i'm just putting into perspective that there are two that they're not diverging they are complementary but um, the focus on the charter is is enable and create opportunity or stimulate opportunity for BIPOC to fit into that 
a buy thing that says accessible for all. Because if we are doing it, I think that if we are doing an initiative like this, is because we do feel that it's not accessible for all. So that the the vision is that I th I think that it's not just improving the open source, but is it's improving the open source, it's improving and creating more opportunity for minorities and and seek an equal treatment regardless of discriminating or what is a discriminating factor. So I'm um I think that works too as long because like abide is the overarching one and the audience is different, right? So I think like it might be abide is kind of talking to Linux Foundation leadership to uh, employers saying this is why it matters. And then we should focus on the product, right? Because that's what they ultimately care about, <laughs> right? And right. then having... Uh, the vision of the individual working groups more focused towards them because it's also aligned to the other one because i think like actually the abide ones are going to be more external facing so maybe maybe that's fine you know because as long as they are kind of aligned it's just like saying okay like leaders of the world of companies and whatever like you know you have to care about this because that's what's going to make your product more profitable blah blah, blah. And the other one is talking to the community, you know, like this is why it's important. And then then yeah. like making it more centric towards the group. So I think that works too. So is there anything in this vision that you were looking to uh, modify to align with the specifics, William? Or was there something that you thought that might've been missed? So, so in that vision, the wording, there is a little bit of, I feel, I feel there is a little bit of a weak and opinable wording, like what, okay. what Catherine mentioned in the empower piece. Uh, it's, it, it makes sense. It's, uh, it's a little bit vague. It's a little bit big word for what, what are you exactly meaning? Okay. Um, we should definitely also be realistic, as Catherine is right. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody wants to do a business, so <laughs> wants to succeed. So we want we want the BIPOC community to succeed, but they succeed only if they provide value as well. Uh, well, only if we provide value as well. Right, right. And with that value, we know that we provide it. We know that it's. Uh, so, yes. I. Uh, I I don't I don't like negative uh, uh, talks. Uh, or, or but but there is one one thing that I, where the, that I that it that it, buzzed me, since since uh, since. It's a little more than a year at least, but the, the, I do a lot of talks I, and I say this, I'm diverging a little bit, but it, but I'll come back to this. So I do a lot of talks and uh, I do, um, well, a lot of talks. I, I speak a lot in public and some of you know already that. So I was approached once and I, um, so I always thought that it's, it's, um, it's awful not having the same chances because you have a different, a different something. And in that case, because we have a different color. Uh, and I was approached uh, once and I was, I was asked uh, if I wanted to speak in, in a panel uh, because they need a diverse speaker. And then in my head, I, I completed that sentence that I made before. So it is awful not to have the same chances because you, you have a different co color, but it's, it's very painful to be offered the chance because you have that color, because you have a different color. So 
I don't want this to become something of a statement. I know I said that before, Destiny. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want this to become a statement of an activist, right? It's, it should be the value of, look, many, many years ago, was the, the, the Cathedral and Bazaar book was written uh, for, to explain how Linux became to be so powerful because it's written in a chorus, uh, like in a kind of an uncontrolled way. So the bazaar, uh, that means that in the bazaar, you involve everybody. You have a lot of culture. You have a lot of input from everywhere. Uh, that's why that pr final product is valuable and strong. So that element, Catherine, absolutely, there should be. There should be what's in it for the final product. But there has to be also the element of it's the right thing to do. It's 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 what it's what the it's what everybody needs. Yeah, and uh, I have to drop in five minutes because I do have another meeting yeah. that starts ten minutes. Is yeah, we, like everybody time, but to. it's like so uh, something just. I know it kind of must feel awful if they invite you to do, but the, the thing about these systems is because it's always the same people choosing who's going to on a panel, the same thing with like the same people choosing who to employ and so, so on, right? And so those things are necessary to break the cycle. And sometimes you have to force people, you know, to choose someone because of their color, because otherwise they're not going to get, and then realize like, oh my God, you know, William, he was really awesome because because you are, you are smart and you're going to be there, but maybe due to systemic issues, you didn't know the right people with well, the right people. I mean, the people who always get invited to talk. So it is a mechanism to, to, to break the cycle. Right. And you have it with women on right now. Like you cannot, you cannot submit a panel without a woman at, uh, and at KubeCon. And there is, there's so many more men than women. Uh, and sometimes it's really difficult, especially if it's on infrastructure kind of topics. There are even less women who are specialized in that. But it's important, right, to force that. Um, so I think uh, I think the goal of this uh, group is we already know there are a lot of people with a lot of potential. How do we make them more visible? And sometimes you need these mechanisms to push people in front and say, like, hey, you know, like, we have smart people here, consider it. And then, then so that they get known as their white counterparts are known because they have got more chances. So I wouldn't necessarily see it always like that. It's just like, it's breaking the cycle. And sometimes you need to cheat a little bit because it's not in people's minds. They're not, they don't know. And it's always about connections, right? Yeah, it is true. It's, it is true. So. It is true. But yeah, I think like a lot like what we're doing. Uh, oh, go ahead, Destiny. I know I missed half of the meeting, so sorry about that. But um, just based on what everybody's talking about, we can use this as a center point or a hub point where people see this, they can come here and get help. So like if they want to submit a talk or do something in cloud native or open source, this can be the space where they can feel safe to come to people like that. And then we'll be the front runner to tell them, hey, this person, this is the person we need to talk to, this is the person we need to talk to, and stuff like that. Because sometimes what we put in a space and we're like, okay, I don't know who to talk to. I don't know who these people are. But if I look at you a little, and I'm like, hey, hey, can you help me? We see more people like us, we'll more tend to ask each other, like, hey, do I talk to you? So I think maybe this would be our focal point where we just invite people to come in and just ask for resources, ask for help, what, what they can do, help them get to that point. I don't think, um, because I always feel like we're going to be that token. We're going to be the one like, hey, can you do this for us so we can have that relationship? Just like you said, because I feel that way too. Um, I just want it to be where I'm here. You can come here. You can get help. You can get the resources. You can get what you need to get where you want to go. And I think that's what we should have, that like it's more like a safe space for us to come to to get those resources. Instead of feeling like we've been thrown around by a bunch of people when we do go out and open source because honestly they don't know either. So it's just more of 
connections, who do we know and like that. And I think that would be good for us too. Yes. Because yes, I don't I, I don't want us to focus on like because it's the conversation is always gonna be uncomfortable. It's all we're always gonna feel like we're being pointed out. We're always gonna feel like okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, I know we guys gotta go, but yeah, that's it. It's all right. It's all right. <coughs> thanks, thanks, Destiny. And no problem. You were late, and it's I, I was also a couple of minutes late, so it's okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. So, what do you think about it, guys? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we work a little bit on that vision? Improve that statement. Uh. That word empower is is a little bit bloated. It's yeah. Um, it's it's common. It's 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 the same thing that everybody says in the statement, in the mission, in the because that's what um, I guess acceptable. And we're, like we say, we're not trying to be negative. We're not trying to put out exactly what we're trying to handle. But I just think it would be better if we just. Improve it a little bit more, but also say, hey, this is a safe space for you to come and get resources and get where you want to go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we are a little bit over. Uh, let's let's call. Let's do a round table. Uh, let's start from the last one. Mark, do you do you have anything that you want to add before we close? Uh, so I, I kind of wrote my kind of like what you, what everyone was saying and tried to like put that in what the vision statement is, uh, mm -hmm. and it might be totally off, but hopefully it'll give some ideas. Um, what I wrote was to enable individuals in the cloud native space slash community by providing invaluable opportunities to show their full potential. This in turn will foster an inclusive community for future generations. Um, Put it that, uh, Mark, what I suggest, it's it, there is good stuff in there. What I suggest is, I see that also Travis, uh, just you put something in. What I would suggest is add a comment to that okay. statement, put in your wording, your opinion, uh, something and uh okay. and then let's all uh yeah let's all let's all let's all discuss that that's okay. what I, my suggestion is yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, so also the people that are not in the meeting they can also read it i agree and, uh, we are, i don't think i don't think we're gonna do something like voting and upvoting i think that we're just gonna build up something that we're all happy with because oh yeah yeah voting implies that somebody wasn't happy with it so right yeah but that's my my kind of like what i got out of it so i'll happy to just add it as a comment and yeah, contribute yeah do that. I can. Yeah. awesome yeah. i mean you can even add the suggestion too like you can just put it where you suggest that paragraph but i i, I had to learn that for um the okay. deaf group as well so i'm learning how to use the doc you can just add it on and add it as a suggestion and then whoever like um, you, you can decide if you want that or not gotcha yeah. Okay. Uh, Destiny, since you are talking, is there anything you want to say before leaving? No, um, I came in super late, so I'm I'm just based on what what I came in and what we talked about. But um, I'm trying to make it earlier to the next meeting. And then... It's okay. But it's okay. We, we so were... good. It's we that this is what we were talking about anyway. That we talked about only okay. this. Travis. Okay. You have anything yeah. to add? Right. Uh, no, not not today. No, I mean it's just um. I mean, you know, we we work in tech, right? So um, you have to you have to be like um, shift my brain to, um. You know, I. You know, it's funny because uh, we're in a different hard hearing group, right? Um, and I was telling people I struggle with um advocacy uh work why because um i moved to the city that has like accessibility for me you know um for example if i go to the hospital 
here they have like a team of interpreter on site and ready to go to whatever room I'm in. But in another city, you really have to wait for an interpreter to arrive. Like maybe they live like let's say um half an uh, half an hour away from where the hospital is. So it's um I mean, it's it's, it's you no. Know, I mean, we, like we burned out. We are sources, so we feel like um, I can understand why um, some BIPOC people are not didn't want to get involved because they feel like they've been fighting their whole life. You know, what I mean, and to come join this group, it's it's like why why are we doing this again? You know, um, but yeah, but I mean, the work is not done around the world, so we all need to be here anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I I I cannot <clears throat> I cannot imagine the struggle that you have to go through Travis or in that for reading and uh, and I'm of course I'm uh, I'm not happy to to know that there is a struggle. So um but yeah, in also in uh, in every in every community as you say, why do we have to go through this again? <laughs> yeah. If we don't the alternative is that it's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So I think I think it's it's a it's a it's it's a wrap. I think we have a definite piece of thing to work on. Is the vision, which without a vision there is no mission, there is no strategy, there are no goals. So forget about the rest of the document. Look at the vision if you feel like if you have time. It's not it's not a stressful thing if you have time. Uh, you guys uh, put your um, your idea in as a suggestion, and, uh, and let's see. Yeah, I do have a question, Tom. It, yes. Um, I, I don't know if anyone going to Cube, KubeCon this year, but I mean, like, um, you know, like with them out, we, we pass it on. If we see someone, we, we talk about this group and get them, try to recruit them. Um, but I'm not sure, like, we're not going to have like, a, a booth set up, right? There, that's, that's my understanding. Okay, so yeah, uh, so. Not, yeah. Right. not yet, not yet. We first, so we first need to establish the charter. We need to, uh, once the charter is ready, then we will have, we will ask for an official uh, uh, working group title to the to the CNCF. But first, we need to do this type of work. Uh, absolutely. If you are, I'm, I'm not going to be a KubeCon uh, um, uh, NA. I will be a KubeCon London next year. But I'm also, when I was speaking in meetups or speaking at conferences, I'm already mentioning that I'm involved in the BIPOC. Please come and join. But it's a very soft, uh, uh, let's say, uh, so soft messaging because we don't have a, an official working group yet. So. But if you guys want to do it, please do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Great. I'll be at okay. KubeCon, so I'll, I'll also pass the word along as well. Nice. Please meet. Send a photo. Send yes. me a photo of you guys meeting. <laughs> Will do. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. If that was all, um, I think we, we call it. And uh, we meet again uh, in a Slack channel. And next, uh, and next, uh, and the next meeting. Okay, sounds good. All right, take care. Thanks, Good rest of the day, guys. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.